In this video, we are going to learn about other types of equation. Previous section, previous lesson in 2.4, or in quadratic equation, we learn inadequate for many problems. We use some applications, some exponents. But this time, we are going to use only the basic arithmetic, algebra, simple geometry, quadratic equations, absolute value, and radicals. Let's try to solve first about absolute value. Going back to the definition of absolute value. Absolute value in geometric definition is from the distance from the origin. So the, therefore it is from the distance distance from the origin. So we have, for example, it will go up to positive 4. So therefore, absolute value of positive 4 is equals to 4 because the distance there is 4 units. And also, 0 going to negative 4. So therefore, absolute value of negative 4 is also positive 4. So in solving absolute value or absolute value equation, we will solve two different equations. We have the positive and then the negative side. So therefore, if we have x minus 5 or absolute value of x minus 5 equals to 3, we'll define as x minus 5 equals to negative 3 and x minus 5 equal to positive 3. Or either way, you can have x minus 5 equals to 3 or x minus 5 equals to negative 3. So therefore, we can have now x equal to negative 3 plus 5 equal to x equal to positive 2. And then the other side, x equals to 3 plus 5, which is x equals to positive 8. Therefore, we have two possible solutions if we are going to solve for absolute value. We have the positive side and then the neg negative side. In our example, let's say we have 2 absolute value of x minus 5 plus 3 equal to 11. First thing we will do, simplify first outside the absolute value. Okay, so therefore you will have now 2 absolute value of x minus 5 equal to 11 minus 3, which gives us absolute value of x minus 5 equal to 8 and then you divide that one by 2 okay so we get now as x absolute value of x minus 5 equals to positive 4 and then after this one apply this one the same as the example in example number 1 which is x minus 5 equals to positive 4 and x minus 5 equal to negative 4 we have now as x equals to 5 or 4 plus 5 x equals to 9 and then the other side x equals to negative 4 plus 5 which is x is equals to negative we have negative 4 plus 5 is equals to 1 so we have two possible solutions how about if we are going to use now about factoring or let's say about grouping so let's say x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 equal to 0. From here, we'll try to group the two equations. So we get x cubed plus 2x squared, okay, group that one, minus we have x minus 2, or we say x plus 2, because we can, we will multiply now the signed operation here inside the parentheses, which is negative times positive becomes negative x minus 2 and then after that factor it's factor the common we have variable and common factor which is x squared now times x plus 2 minus so that we can factor this one out we will make this one as times 1 times x plus 2 equal to 0 so then we have common factor x squared minus 1 times x plus plus 2. So here, from this 
factor, we can still factor out this one, the same as in the difference of two squares. We have a squared minus b squared, which gives us a plus b and then a minus b. So therefore, here we can make now as x squared minus 1 squared, which is also equals to x squared minus 1. So therefore, your factor now is x plus 1, x minus 1, and x plus 2 equal to 0. So we equate everything, the values of x into 0, and then back to the original equation, which is the highest degree of the polynomial, is equal to 3. So therefore, we have three different solutions, which is x equal to negative 1, x equal to positive 1, and x is equal to negative 2. Next equation. What if we have this problem? Cube root of x squared minus 1 equal to positive 2. From here, we can have now as cube root of x squared minus 1 equals to 2. Therefore, what you're going to do is cube, okay? So we have to, the first one we're going to do is cube both sides, okay? We just do cube both, we have sides. So therefore, you will have now as x squared minus 1 equals to 2 cubed, which is equals to positive 8. So we can get now as x squared equal to 8 and then move this one on the other side becomes plus 1. So x squared equals to 9 and then this one is in the special quadratic equation, right? So x squared equals to 9. So special quadratic, apply the special quadratic equation or quadratic formula. Therefore, we will have now x is equals to plus minus square root of 9 and then x is equals to plus minus positive 3. Okay, next equation. Let's go further for radicals, involving radicals. So we get 3 plus square root of 3x plus 1 equal to x. We have now isolate first the value of 3. So you move on the other side. Therefore, you will have now square root of 3x plus 1 equals to x minus 3. And then after that one, we get now to isolate the radicals. So therefore, you will have to square both sides. So we get to squared both sides. Therefore, you will have now 3x plus 1 equal to x minus 3 squared, which gives us x squared minus 6x, okay, plus 9. And then after that, simplify. So therefore, you will have now as x squared, you move, okay, you move 3x on the other side becomes minus 9x. And then you move this one on the other side becomes plus 1 minus 1 here. So therefore, you will have now plus 8 equal to 0. Then try to factor. If you cannot factor, completing the square. If we cannot complete the square, we can use for our equation. What are the factors of 8? We have 8 and 1, we have as well 4 and 2, but we need to get 9. So therefore, you will have now as x squared, or x, okay, x, so we need to get 9. So therefore, we will have to use x minus 8 and x minus 1 equal to 0. So therefore, your values of x now are x equals to 8 and x equal to positive 1. So this one are the two possible answers. Another example. Let's say we have 
Okay, let's say we have square root of 2x minus 3 minus square root of x plus 7 plus 2 equal to 0. When you see this problem, it's hard for us to square for everything, right? Because we are we have two radicals. So therefore, you are going to move the other radicals on the other side so that we can simplify the first radical. So we can have now as square root of 2x minus 3 equal to square root of x plus 7 minus 2. Then you can have now squared both sides, which is the squared both sides. Okay, so we get here as 2x minus 3 equal to square this one using the foil method. So you have square root of x plus 7 minus 2 times square root of x plus 7 minus 2 using the foil method, which gives us x plus 7. Move that one there, multiply. So square root of 7 times negative 2, that is negative 2 square root of x plus 7 and then you multiply again this one so you have negative 2 squared of x plus 7 so therefore you have now as minus 4 squared of x plus 7 and then plus 4 simplify again so you get 2x minus 3 okay so we move this one that aside minus x and then 7 and 4 we get plus 11 move that aside negative 11 equal to negative 4 square root of x plus 7. So therefore, we can simplify this one as x minus 14 equal to negative 4 square root of x plus 7. From here, we can we need to simplify again the radicals. So we have to square both sides again. Square both sides. So we have now here x squared minus 14 and 14x, right? For the method again, we get 28x and then plus 14 times 14 equal to 100. How much is that? 196 equal to 16 times x plus 7. Okay, simplify again. x squared minus 28x plus 196 equal to 16x. Okay plus 112 then you move that aside so we get x squared minus 16x negative so therefore 28 minus negative 28 negative 16 that is negative 44x okay negative 44x and then that aside we have 196 minus 112 so therefore, we have plus 84 equal to 0. Then after that, we need to factor it out. So therefore, we have x squared minus 44x plus 84 equal to 0. So what is the factor now of x squared minus 44x plus 84? And then you need to get 44 here. So what are the factors of 84? We have 84 and 1. We get 84 and 1. So we cannot get 44 for that for sure, right? And then we get 42 and 2. So we get negative 44, which is negative and negative this one to make it positive. So your factor now is x minus 42 and x minus 2 equal to 0. So therefore, you will have x equal to 42 and x equal to positive 2. Okay, so these are the two possible answers that we will get in this equation. Okay, another example. What if we have fraction uh, involving fractions now, but it is in quadratic type? which is x two-thirds plus x one-third 
minus 6 equal to 0. What you are going to do first? Since we have 2 thirds, since we have this one can be factored out, so since we have 2 thirds can be factored out as x 1 third squared right because the law of exponent therefore we can have the equations now or we can suggest that we can give us we let x or we let u because we're using x already we let u equal to x 1 over 3 which gives us here as u squared plus u minus 6 equal to 0 Okay, so this one is uh, one of the problem how we will solve for or how will we let u equal to x minus 3 it's the case to case basis okay so therefore here we can factor out x 1 third and squared and then we have as well x 1 over 3 so therefore both of them are equal so we let u both of them equal to x 1 over 3 and then we can solve now as the factor of this one as u plus 3 and u minus 2 equal to 0, which gives us x return to the original equation x one third equals to 3 and x 1 over 3 equals to positive 2. This one is negative, right? Because positive move on the other side becomes negative. So therefore, we will have no cube both sides. So x equals to negative 27, which is 3 cubed. And then x is equals to positive 8. So this one are the two possible answers. Next example. How about we have x to the power 4 minus 3x squared plus 1 equal to 0. From here, we can also factor this one out as x squared square. So therefore, we we'll let u now equals to x squared. So we can make this equation as u, okay, u squared minus 3u plus 1 equal to 0. 1 is a prime factor or a prime number so we cannot find the factor with the use of factoring or the trial and error so let's go to quadratic equation quadratic equation is x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over by 2a so our a now is equals to 1 our b is equals to negative 3 and our c is equals to positive 1. Therefore, we let u now. u is equal to, okay, we get negative 3. So that is negative b. So 3 plus minus square root of 3 squared, which is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 1 all over by 2 times 1. So u now is equals to 3 plus minus square root of 9 minus 4 is 5 all over by 2. You know, we get or we need to return this one to its original equation, which is equals to x squared equal to 3 plus minus square root of 5 all over by 2. So we squared again, quadratic, special quadratic, right? So this one is special quadratic equation or formula. So we will have now as x equal to plus minus square root of 3 plus minus square root of 5 all over by 2. So we have four possible solutions because the highest degree of our equation, of our problem is equal to 4. So what are the four possible answers? So we have square root of 3 plus square root of 5 over 2. The second one, negative square root of 3 plus 
square root of 5 over 2. The next one, positive 3 minus square root of 5 over 2. And then the next one is negative square root of 3 minus square root of 5 all over by 2. Okay? So, if you have questions and clarifications of our lessons, uh, you can send an email or send in line so that I can entertain your questions. Okay? So, that's all for our lesson for 2.5, chapter 2.5 of Algebra 2. In mathematics, you need to practice more problems so that you will be familiarize how you will use the formulas and equation. That's all and thank you.